and we meet again. I'm Susan. Today's workout is going to be a body weight only workout. So it's going to be a little more challenging than we've done in the past. And since we are doing compound exercises, I'm really going to increase the amount of time that we do our exercises. So let's look at our screen and these are the exercises we're going to be doing. We're going to start off with a push up. Then we'll tap opposite hand to opposite shoulder. We'll do four mountain climbers, right, left, right, left. You'll hop your feet forward, take your hands off the floor, hop the feet back, and then do your push-up. Opposite hand to shoulder, and repeat that push-up sequence. So we'll do two sets of those, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Our second set will be lateral lunge, We'll do a lateral lunge, a reverse lunge, and a squat. We'll stay to the same side, the right side first, and then we'll take our 15 second break and we'll do the left side, and we'll do two sets of those. Two sets on the right, two sets on the left. Then we'll follow that with a reverse lunge, a knee lift, a one leg deadlift, and the opposite hand reaches for the opposite toe. Two sets of those. We'll followed by a pike push-up, and then we'll move, we'll do 45 seconds of pike push-ups, then we'll move to side plank, and we'll tap that top hand to the uh, opposite hand, that top elbow to the opposite hand. Moving on to our final sequence, which is a reverse tabletop with a tricep dip with a one leg lift and lower. So that's gonna be pretty intense with the uh, triceps, but we're also getting that core involved as well. Followed by our final exercise, which will be knees above hips, and we'll take the opposite hand to the opposite thigh. You'll push that hand into the thigh as you push that thigh into your hand. And that is a great exercise for the core, and, I'll, uh, and when we do that, we'll also lower and lift the opposite leg. Now, be mindful here, we're gonna start out 30 seconds of work, easier option, 30 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest. We will be doing together 45 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest. And if you're really advanced, you can do 60 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. Also be advised you should always consult with a physician before engaging in any physical activity program. And by participating in this online exercise class, you assume all dangers, hazards, and risks of such participation. The exercises demonstrated by the instructors in this online class are physically demanding, and if you're unable to safely perform these exercises, please modify them for your own safety, or you can choose a different set of exercises. Okay, so what you'll need is some water and a mat, because we will be coming down to the ground. I'm also going to start my timer here. So our first sequence is the push-up. We're going to tap opposite hand to shoulder. We'll do four mountain climbers. We'll hop our feet forward, take those hands off the floor, hands to the floor, hop the feet back, do your push-up. Are we ready to go? We got a 10 second countdown. That's why we're doing 45 seconds because we've got a lot of movement, compound exercises. Let's go. So we're going to start with that push-up. Push-up. Remember, option, you can come down on your knees. Legs are hip width apart. We're going to do those mountain climbers. Four, three, two, one. Hop both feet forward. Hop back. Push-up. Opposite hand to shoulder. Four mountain climbers. Hop feet forward. Hands up. Good. Option. Down, opposite hand to shoulder, toe in. You can hop your feet forward, up, and then bring those feet back. Know your options, continue with what works for you. Okay, we've got a 15 second rest. And now we're gonna move on to our lateral lunge, reverse lunge, and squat. We'll start to the right side first. Let's go. Lateral lunge, sit back into that right heel. Reverse lunge and squat. 
lateral, reverse, squat. If you need to, you can always bring that toe to the floor in between. Lateral, reverse, squat. Lateral, reverse, squat. Now when you bring it back, make sure that front knee stays behind your toes. Lateral, reverse, squat. Lateral, reverse, squat. Good. 15 second rest. We're gonna do it on the left side now. Remember to keep those knees behind your toes. You're sitting back in your heel. Ready? Let's start. Left leg, lateral. See how I'm sitting back? Reverse lunge, squat. Lateral, reverse, squat. Lateral, lunge, reverse, squat. Lateral, you'll feel this in those legs tomorrow for sure. Sit back, keep those abs in, chest is lifted. Lateral, back, squat. You can say it out loud so you remember the sequence. Lateral, back, and squat. Good. 15 seconds, going back to those push-ups. Remember your options, you can always do it on your knees if you need to. <clears throat> or your toes. Here we go. One push-up. Opposite hand to shoulder. Four, three, two, one. Push-up. Opposite hand to shoulder. One, two, three, four. Push up. Don't twist those hips. Nice work. Remember, do what you can. Take that break as needed. Good. Our lunge sequence. Shoulders back and down. Abs are in. Get your water as needed. Lateral lunge. Right leg. Reverse. Squat. Side. Reverse. Squat. Abs are in. Keep those knees safely behind your toes. Reverse, squat. Keep that inner thigh straight. Keep those knees behind your toes. A little balance. Nice. Shake it out. Get your drink. Left side. Here we go. Lateral lunge. Reverse. Squat. Lateral. Reverse. Squat. Now remember, when you bring those legs together, we're not here, we're out a little bit wider. Lateral. Reverse. Make sure you're pushing into this heel, left heel, right heel, both heels, left heel, right heel, both heels. Nice. Keep that core engaged for your stability. Keep your chest lifted. Last one. Good. Okay, so we just did two sets back to back. We're moving on to our reverse lunge, knee lift, one leg dead, uh, deadlift. Okay, so I'm gonna step my right leg back for your reverse lunge. 
to a knee lift. Shoot this leg back, my right hand toward my left toe. Standing up, reverse lunge, knee. Deadlift, opposite hand to toe. Knee, uh, reverse lunge, knee. Shoot it back, abs in, reverse lunge, knee. Shoot it back, reverse lunge, knee. Shoot it back, good. You'll feel it in those glutes here. Now that left leg gonna do that reverse lunge. Get those drinks as needed. Pull the core in, left knee back. Right knee behind your toe. Give me that knee lift. Shoot that right, the left leg back. Opposite hand toward your toe. Now it's very important to keep those abdominals in. See, it's okay if you tap down. Keep those abs in. Slow and controlled. I don't want you to rush it. I think that's what I'm doing, I'm rushing it. Reverse, knee. Good, now you know what to do. Let's not rush the second round. Right leg reverse. Abs in, shoulders back. Stand on that left leg. Right leg, reverse lunge. Knee lift. Reverse lunge. Knee lift. I'm keeping my gaze focused on something still because that helps me stabilize. The second set is a lot easier for me when I stay focused and I apologize for not looking at you. Nice job. Good, shake it out. Again, focus on something still, keep that core in, slow and controlled. Okay, we got that left leg. Reverse lunge. Knee lift. Shoot it back. Reverse lunge. Knee lift. Shoot back. Reverse lunge. Knee lift. Shoot back. Reverse lunge, knee lift, shoot back. See, I'm staying very focused, so I don't, I keep it, I'm keeping my abs in, so I don't lose my balance. I'm focusing on something still on the floor. Good, let's shake it out. We did two sets of that combo. Now we're moving down onto the floor. We're gonna start with those pike push-ups. Pike push-ups. All right, so my butt's up in the air. My big old butt up in the air. Bring that head toward the floor. This is strictly working those shoulders a lot more intensely than a regular push-up. Now, if this is too much, you can always do this push-up on the chair. Make sure that chair's against the wall and it's a nice sturdy chair. My butt's up in the air, my heels are up, my legs are straight. My core's engaged. Good, moving on to more shoulder work. Side plank, option here. Make sure that right elbow directly underneath your shoulder. You can keep those knees bent. You can extend the legs. Left hand to the temple. We're gonna have that elbow tap 
that opposite hand. Now you'll be feeling it in those obliques. Push those hips up and squeeze those obliques. You can also have those feet staggered if that helps you. And remember, you can have those knees bent as your option. Exhale. Keep breathing. Make sure that shoulder stays right underneath the elbow. Let's go on to the left side. Maybe a bit more challenging. Again, remember those options. That elbow directly underneath that shoulder. Extend those legs. Lift those hips. Hands to your temple. Top elbow. Toward that hand. Again, you're pushing those hips up and you can really feel those obliques working. You're think about squeezing the bottom of the ribs and the top of the hip bones. Keep the rest of the core engaged for stability. Very nice work here, kids. Do what you can. Remember, it's 45 seconds. If you just want to do that 30 second deal, go ahead and do that. Since this one doesn't have as many components. Whew. Shake it out. Roll it out. Okay, we've got those pike push-ups. Alrighty, here we go. If you want to make this harder, you can have those feet up on a step or a little bit of a riser. So you have more of a decline. Keep that core engaged. Exhale as you push away. Oh. Stay with me guys. You got this. This is your own beautiful body working. Stay with me and stay strong. You know you can do this. Alrighty. Back to our side planks. Elbow directly underneath that shoulder. Remember your options here. Lift those hips. Elbow touches that opposite hand. Squeeze those ribs and hip bones. Keep that core engaged. All shoulder work here, kids, and abdominals. And it's your own beautiful body. Love that body that you have. It's the only one God gave you. So take care of it. Don't forget to get your water and stay hydrated. Come on now. We're almost there. We got three, two, one. Good. Whew. Feel the love. Now I just have two sets back to back. You can go through this whole sequence two, three times if you want to. Just to get a little better each time. Go ahead and begin. But for time's sake, we're just going through it just one time. You'll be sure to feel the love. That's what I'm all about, kids. I don't think I said it much in these videos, but if you take my classes, you know I talk about feeling the love, and this is it. We're feeling love, kids. Stay with me and stay strong. Come on, you got this, you can do it. Your body is stronger than your mind lets it think. Oh, good. Moving on now to our triceps with a leg lift. We can just stay with the tricep dips if you want to. You don't have to do the leg lift. Palms face forward, reverse tabletop. Maybe you just want to stay here. 
because we've got two rounds of this, right? So, otherwise, now here, we're working that underarm jiggle, pull those abs in, and you're working the lower part of those abdominals. If you want to make it more challenging, opposite arm to leg, that choice is yours. Bend those elbows 90 degrees, good. Go ahead, take that break. Whew. Feel the love in the tries. Those arms are gonna look great this summer, right kids? All right, now we're gonna lift that left leg or just stay with your tricep dips. Make sure you're bending the elbows, okay? That belly button is in. You could just bring the knee into your chest if you wish to, easier option. Or lower and lift. Use those abs. Or if you just wanna stay here, because those triceps are fatigued, you're just working the lower part of the abs. The choice is yours. I'm just throwing out these options for you. We got 10 more seconds. Stay strong. And time. Woo. Oh, I'm feeling love. Now, we're moving on to a different exercise. Low back into the mat. Head, neck, and shoulders lifted. The hand that's closest to me is going to go against that thigh that's farther from me. This leg that's closer to me. Now, I want you to push the hand into the thigh, lift and lower. The opposite leg. Option, you can keep the head, neck, and shoulders on the mat, but you'll feel it all the way across that core. Now I'm pushing this leg into my hand. I'm pushing my hand into the leg. Now be mindful, when you lower this leg, keep that low back into the mat. Keep pulling that belly button in. Whew. Lower head, neck, and shoulders. All right, back hand to the front thigh. Other leg up. Another nice bruise I saw. All right, abs in, low back into the mat. So, I'm pushing this hand into this leg as I'm pulling, pushing this leg into my hand. But my low back stays into the mat. My core is so tight. Head, neck, and shoulders lifted as an option. Now, it may look like I'm not doing anything, but trust me, kids. There's work going into this leg, and this leg, and the gut. How can I get my stomach smaller? Well, it's your diet for one. No matter how much you exercise, if you eat crap, you're not gonna see any results. Whew. Hug those legs in. Massage your spine. Good. We're going back to those tricep dips and leg lifts. All right, we'll start with that front leg. Bend. I got my rhythm on. There we go. Now you're, I'm pushing through that back heel. I'm bending my elbows so we get rid of that underarm jiggle. But guess what? My core is still active. And as I exhale, I pull that belly button tighter to my spine. Oh man, I'm feeling love here, kids. Stay with me. I know you got this in you. Now, as I said, you gotta eat smart. You gotta eat low fat. You need some fat. You gotta have those veggies and the fruits and good carbohydrates. Sweet potatoes are fabulous. All right, round two. Let's go. Again, your option, 
Just lift and lower that leg, or bring the knee in to the chest. You're still working those lower abs. Do what your body allows you to do. And if you stick with it, you're gonna get stronger. And please, drink lots and lots of water. That'll flush out your system. It'll keep the metabolism up. And after this workout, by the way, I want you to eat protein. And that way, that will help your muscles build and drink lots of water for recovery. Oh, we made it through. All right, we got more abs and then we'll be done and we'll stretch, okay? You're looking good, kids. We'll start with that front leg. Back arm, here we go. Head, neck and shoulders up off the mat as an option. Keep that lower back into the mat. Keep that core nice and flat. Pull that belly button in. Now, if you're here with the leg lift, that's fine, okay? Maybe you just wanna bend the knee. That's another option. But keep this hand and thigh active. Keep that core active. Maybe you wanna have this other hand supporting your head and neck. Do what works, right? We're all different. Oh. Oh. All right, kids, hang with me. My front hand, back thigh, abs in, low back into the mat. You're pushing. Now listen, I'd rather you do a few good exercises than a lot of bad ones. If you need to take a break, go ahead and take that break. This workout is not for the lighthearted. So I think we've been moving along rather nicely. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're almost there guys, stay strong, stay strong. Oh, listening to my grunt and groan. Last one. Oh, lower the head, neck, and shoulders. Hug those knees into your chest. Guess what? Our workout is finished for today, but we're just going to stretch a little bit. Oh. All right, I'm going to stop my timer. <clears throat> Let's open up those legs. See if you can grab the pinky toe side of those feet. Open up the legs. Keep the feet pushing toward the ceiling. Now watch my knees. I'm bending them. Keep that low back into the mat. This is called your happy baby. You'll feel a good stretch in those inner thighs and hip area. It's a great hip opening. It's also good for that sciatica because you're pushing that low back into the mat. Push those shoulder blades into the mat. Keep breathing into that stretch. Option here, you can roll it side to side for a little massage. Oh, this feels fabulous. Good. Nice work. All right, go ahead and release those feet. Now I want you to roll toward me and lay on that side. Keep that back leg, which is now probably your right leg. Grab onto that foot and then Bring that foot to the heel, the heel to your butt, and then push the hip forward. And you'll feel a fabulous stretch right here in those thighs. Because trust me, kids, after this workout, you're going to feel love in those thighs. I know. I did it yesterday. And I'm feeling the love today. And that's why I want to share it with you guys. Good. Nice work, go ahead and release that. Push yourself up. Let's shoot on over to the other side. I want you to still face me. We'll take that left leg now. Grab onto the top of that foot. Pull the belly button in, inhaling here. As you exhale, pull that heel towards your butt and then push those hips forward. Feel the love. Breathing into that. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel here, guys. You'll see that little bell on your right-hand part of the screen. If you click on it, you'll get like little activation. When that happens, you'll get like little uh, parentheses signs on it. Every time we upload a video, that means that you will get notified when there's a new LWCA fitness video available. Go ahead and release that. We'll just do bringing those hands behind you, roll those shoulders back and down, push that chest forward, chin to the ceiling and where the wall meet, open up that chest. Nice job. Right arm across your chest, relax that shoulder, stretch out those deltoids. And thank you for joining me and feel free to uh, write in the comments section. And if you have any suggestions for any other videos, feel free to let me know that too, okay? I really love hearing from you. And that's fabulous, good stretch. Inhale here, arms up, palms together, exhale and lower. And thank you so much, I'll see you next week.